If I asked you to recall more than 10% of lecture notes that you learned one month ago, the likelihood is that you'd struggle. And this is something that a German psychologist in the late 19th century looked into. A German psychologist called Hermann Ebbinghaus conducted a series of experiments on himself to look at the rate of memory loss. What he found was that after seven days, he forgot over 90% of his newly acquired knowledge. What was even more important was that he forgot about 40% of that information within the first two days. Hermann Ebbinghaus plotted his results on a graph and that graph was famously known as the forgetting curve. Following on from this initial trial, there were several neuroscientists that supported Hermann Ebbinghaus's theory. The problem is if you forget information like this at such a fast rate, how do you prepare for an exam? I want to go through a few ways in which we can combat the forgetting curve in order to prepare for an exam. The first and most important thing is distributing your learning in a way that combats the forgetting curve. What I mean by this is distributing your study sessions for a particular topic at the times that you are due to forget the most. Let me give you an example of how I would do this. If I'm learning about community acquired pneumonia for example, I want to relearn that content in a way in which I combat the forgetting curve. Once I've initially learned that information, I will revisit that material after one day to combat that initial drop in memory loss and then after one week and after one month. That way I'm combating the forgetting curve at three different stages and I'm more likely to remember that information for when I'm being tested on it. Another point that's important is to improve the clarity of the information you're learning. What I mean by this is if you find it difficult to remember in the first place, then you're less likely to remember it once you revisit that material. So what you should do is break down that information in a way that you can explain it to someone that has no knowledge of that subject area. What I like to do is test that by teaching it to someone who has no knowledge of that subject area altogether. What I'd also say is to make it more interactive because people are more likely to learn information if they're actively involved in the process rather than passively revising. Evidence suggests that study methods such as rereading, highlighting or note-taking have low utility because you're passively observing that process rather than being actively involved. Therefore, people who adopt these study methods spend far more time in order to retain that information than using other study methods. Testing methods that are known as having high utility involve practice testing and this means you continuously test yourself in order to retain that information. Ways in which you can adopt this study technique could be using virtual flashcards, using physical flashcards, or constantly asking yourself questions about content that you've learned. In essence, the more actively involved you are in that learning process, the more likely you are to remember these memories. To summarize, the forgetting curve states that we forget 90% of newly acquired information after seven days. Ways in which we can combat this is distributing our learning in a way that combats the forgetting curve, such as revisiting content that you've newly acquired after one day, one week, and one month. Also, being actively involved in the revision process means that you're more likely to remember that information for an examination. And that summarizes how we can combat the forgetting curve.